right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Francis Ngannou and Kimbo Slice. From the backyard brawls to the biggest show in the sport, here is Kimbo Slice making the UFC walk yet again. And you can be sure when Kimbo's on the fight card, the masses are tuning in. Everybody's tuning in. There are fight parties all around the country Yes, because Kimbo's fighting. He just has that ability to get people together to compete. He's one of those guys that regardless of wins and losses, you still want to see him go. But trust me, Kimbo lands the right hand. Yes. Most times he is getting his hand raised. A phenomenal, phenomenal boxer. Has professional boxing experience and also just a draw in every sense of the world. Good to see Kimbo Slice ready to go here tonight. Here's the heavyweight contender, Francis Ngannou. Of course, he has challenged for UFC gold. He learned a lot in that fight against Stipe Miocic. But for my money, this is the biggest power threat, punch for punch, in the UFC today. It's unbelievable the amount of power that Francis Ngannou possesses. But as you said, he learned in the Miocic fight because how could he not be learning? He's only been fighting for about five, six years. So this guy is truly a blank canvas. Every day, he's getting better and better and better. And he's one of the guys that you can see that before long, he will be wearing the UFC heavyweight title. And he has certainly given back to his native Cameroon, founded the Francis Ngannou Foundation. They have opened a gym over there. But Ngannou still with a lot of work to do here in the Octagon. And that effort continues in earnest here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of five wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Kimbo! And now we introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer holding a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Francis, the Predator and God. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Ready. Ready All right, here we go with round one of what feels more like a dream sequence than an actual UFC matchup at heavyweight Francis Ngannou taking on the also power packed Kevin Ferguson, Kimbo Slice. This fight will not last long either. Kimbo lands the right hand or Francis lands the right hand. This is a dream matchup. This matchup is one of those matchups that you guys should play in the all stand up affair that EA Sports offers. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. He is going after that overhand right. And Ganu gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Get right here. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, straight right. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. Oh, how about the right hand from Francis Ngannou? It's hard to watch. I can't imagine it feels off. You watch Francis put out an entire generation of heavyweight that came before him. Put out Wolverine. 
put out Velasquez, put out those soccer, and he did it all with that beautiful right hand. It is one of the deadliest weapons in all of its martial arts. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping it every time. Kimbo Schleiss gets caught with that punch, and both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Francis and Ghana. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Huge shot there! Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with meaning. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Francis and Ghana. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Second round here. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right? You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. Well, he's got the reach advantage, he might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Try to establish that jab. Big punch lands through the middle. Slice's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got it hurt very bad. Oh! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Right hand punch from the top. Oh, nice punch there by Slice. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, he's up, but he is hoping for certain the finish could come at any time. Well, he's really starting to land a high number. Oh! oh! See the land right there, his opponent's wobble, champ. He's hurt bad. This dude needs to grab. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whiffs on the straight right hand. Lunges forward with a left there. Oh, that is a huge left hook from Francis Ngannou. Somehow, some way, is a oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Out of range with the big right hand. Nice kick. Straight punch lands. That's as good.
Brutal punches he's thrown all night. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. side hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Good finish this fight. Oh, big left. Jab now again. The kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. Now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh, he's out. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 1 minute 44 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Francis the Predator Engano. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style.